My name is Michael Daesh. I'm responsible for the sales and marketing for Summit Technology. So let's talk about the PowerSight family of power monitors. The PS2500 is a power logger, a data logger, and the PS3500 is an energy analyzer and data logger. In fact, they both do pretty much the same things. They are both CAT4 rated. They talk Bluetooth to a PC, PDA or a netbook, and they have an SD memory card slot. You'll notice also in this picture that we offer a range of current transformers. We have clamp-on transformers that go from 5 amps up to 1,000 amps, and Rogowski-type flexible current transformers that go up to either a 3,000 amp range or a 5,000 amp range. Now, these meters are typically used for the following types of applications. General data logging, logging of voltage and current, energy studies, panel balancing, generator capacity, energy audits. They measure up to 600 volts directly. If you plan to use them on substations or on metering PTs, you can program PT ratios to go up to medium and high voltage. Now, these energy analyzers, these data loggers, they measure every second. And they have internal memory that allows you to monitor for any period of time, in fact, up to nine years or longer depending on how you set them up. Both of these meters can be used for the following types of applications. General data logging of voltage and current, panel balancing, panel and circuit capacity, generator capacity, energy audits, power factor studies, energy savings verification. The difference between them is the PS2500 has only two keys on it. Both types of meter can be programmed from a PC, a netbook or a PDA via Bluetooth, but the PS3500 has a full keyboard which allows you to change things on the fly, gives the option of programming either from a PC or from the keyboard. They can both accept SD memory cards up to two gigabytes, but the meters have internal memory to allow you to monitor from any period from, say, a few hours up to several years, depending on how you set the meter up. Typically, most people will want to measure for 24 hours, 40 hours, a week or a month. Now, the SD card simply backs up the data that's in the internal memory. So it offers another method of data transfer. Both meters can be used for spot checks. What I mean by that is using it like a multimeter. It's quite common when an engineer installs a meter, they want to do a spot check. What is the voltage now? What is the current now? What is the power factor now? And the window there, the display, will display in real time voltage and current and other power values. You can do this remotely from a PC with the 2500 or the 3500. But the 3500 has marked keypads to allow you to do a direct measurement. The manuals for these meters are available for download and the software to operate it is free of any software licenses which makes it easier for you to share data and collaborate. You don't need to buy extra software licenses. Now people ask me how long can I monitor for quite often with these meters. A typical monitoring period is 24 hours, 48 hours, a week or a month or maybe even longer. But typically for panel studies, it's a week. Typically for an energy study, maybe it's a month. And a common approach to set these meters up for 5-minute or 15-minute logging intervals. But you, the user, have flexibility on how to set up the logging interval. The minimum logging interval you can program is one second. These instruments are capable of single phase, split single phase, three phase Y, or three phase delta. And for those of you who are dealing with two PT, two CT arrangements and substations, they can be programmed to measure power correctly in those situations. Let's just take a look at the connections to the power side meters. You have four voltage connections here for neutral, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase A, phase B, phase C, and four current connections for single phase, split single phase, three phase Y, or three phase delta measurements. For more information, please contact your T-Equipment product specialist. Thank you.